Hey guys, what's up? Max Peters here, and today we're going to be talking about the backend system on the Urban Art decks, specifically the Butter and the Sprawl deck, which is right in front of me. My deck, the Sprawl deck, which has 6061 heat treated aluminium uh, dropouts. So, heat treating really means it's going to be much more durable and harden it, and it's going to keep its shape a lot more. Where the Butters, the Butters come with a nylon dropout system, and you will get an aluminium pair as well. The nylon dropout system you can work and you can use on my deck as well. So they do come in the two different sizes, which is 5.5 and 6. Again, for my deck, you will be able to get the 5.5 and 6 versions. If you do ride a 5.5 variant of my deck and you do want that little bit more of a peg, you can use the 6 mil, uh, the six inch dropout as well to maybe make that peg a little bit longer on the back end. I'm currently riding the butter drops on my deck. I prefer the butter drops over the aluminium drops purely because when I ride the butter nylon drops, they just feel so smooth. It feels like I'm gliding on air. I did an insta clip the other day. I did a bar spin of 5 on a concrete ledge. It was actually around a curved ledge and I haven't physically done a 5 on a concrete ledge like that ever because I've never had the option to ride nylon pegs. So it was very, very smooth. We're gonna play the clip right now. So the benefit again over the nylon versus the aluminium is the nylon is going to be slightly heavier and the reason the nylon is going to be slightly heavier is because the inserts on the nylon is made out of chromoly. So it has a chromoly base so it's going to be nice and strong with the nylon sleeves on the outside whereas the aluminium ones here are just purely aluminium so they're going to be a tiny bit lighter but they're both going to be very very nice. Personal preference you guys. Now to get the most out of your pegs whether it's your nylon pegs or your aluminium pegs which are the ones right here We've designed a hexagon shape, kind of a spacer system on the actual deck. So this is for two reasons. This is so you can have a six point anchor system. You can actually take your dropouts out and rotate them once they are a little bit worn down and it's gonna actually lock and hold your peg in place. So you won't have to physically hold your um, peg while tightening it up. For me, that was a really big problem with the, with the older style decks. With the lock system here, it works out really well. And to get the maximum use out of your pegs, I highly recommend just rotating your pegs every now and then. Um, on my deck right here, like I said, I'm riding the nylon ones and I can show you what kind of damage I've been doing and how I've rotated them. We've got the chromoly insert here. They, are, they do look a little bit beat up on the inside, but that's all right. They still hold the shape on the outside. And as you can see, I've been doing a fair bit of grinds on the outside. We're gonna take my wheel off and we're gonna actually rotate these to show you exactly what it looks like when you, uh, when you rotate them and put the fresh side on. So. Look at that. This is exactly what I was talking about, how you don't have to hold the peg. It makes it nice and easy and convenient for me. Makes it a bit easier if you have a vice of some sort as well. So here is my peg, as you guys can see, it's quite worn down on the insides. And we've got this fresh side on the outside, like so. But I'll show you quickly how we're gonna take this off before we get into it. But I'm gonna try and ride this thing until they're gone. So now, what we're gonna do we're going to rotate this and put it back on our scooter so um, I would usually keep it on this side and try and wear it down but we're going to for the educational purposes put the fresh side at the bottom so you got to line it up put your axle in first I not like my axle out oh my god this is, this is actually really hard inside there we go we're in nice and smooth I'm going to hold that get my trusty allen key wherever I put that now I'm just going to hold this so it doesn't want to move forward while I'm tightening and as soon as it starts to tighten, I can let go because it's going to hold its place. Just make sure that your um, your pegs are actually in the right, correct position and they're not slightly off because if you put them slightly off, you don't want to um, ruin that hexagon shape and potentially ruin the back end. So make sure your pegs are nice and snug in there before you go tightening it up. Like I said, you do not want to ruin that beautiful hexagon shape because then you will potentially have to hold your pegs. Ah. That's good right there. The scooter fell. The bottom revealed, fresh surface for me to grind on, ready to go. So with the butter drops, the replaceable sleeves are gonna come in a six pack of either, either 5.5 or six. Come in this cute little six pack right here. Really love that design, as you can see. Cheers. One-handed, give it a little tap. But all you do is you, replace, you pull it out, drag it out like this. You get your six pack, you get a little bit pissed, and you put it on like this. Slide it in. So just like that, we've got our new sleeve on. These butter drops are amazing. And then this is what the actual butter drops look like when they come brand new. 
So with the dropouts we sell, these are only designed to fit our decks, obviously. Um, so if you're planning to ride these pegs on, say, a different branded deck, unfortunately it will not work purely because of the hexagon shape. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on our socials at Urban Art, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.